Good morning from the Holiday Inn Express at Luton Airport. It is about six o'clock in the morning. Uh, I'm just gonna get up, have a shower and some breakfast. Um, today I'm heading to Bucharest on Blue Air, which is sort of a lesser known European airline. And um, I believe at the last minute they've switched the aircraft to a 737-500, uh, which should make this trip report a little bit more interesting. Um, so yeah, thanks for watching and uh, off we go. Blue Air started operations in 2004 and have been rapidly expanding throughout Europe since. At this moment in time, they have a fleet size of 26 with 57 destinations available. Today I'll be flying just over 1300 miles with a flight time of just 2 hours and 38 minutes. I actually picked up this flight for an excellent price of £31 one way including my seat assignment. Blue Air often have fares this low on their website so make sure you check them out. As always I would like to give a very special shout out to every single one of my patrons who make my videos possible each week and a special thank you to the people listed below for contributing every month $15 or more to keep this channel alive. If it wasn't for your support I wouldn't be able to continue to do what I do. Luton Airport is one of the main departure points for Blue Air and it is nice to see that Luton Airport has been undergoing expansion and renovation in the last couple of years, investing 160 million pounds in the airport and its renovations. At the time of making this video, Blue Air have just announced flights from London Heathrow Airport. So this will add to Luton, Birmingham, Glasgow and Liverpool as departure points that you can use them from flying from the UK. So yes, as it turns out, our wonderful Boeing 737-800 had been substituted the day before to a Boeing 737-500 for Blue Air. This aircraft operated its first flight on the 3rd of May 1991, making it just over 27 years old at the time of making this video. This type of Boeing 737 is actually the second generation derivative of the 737, so it's a real throwback to the past when boarding this aircraft. Remember, this is not a next generation Boeing 737, this is a classic 737, which were produced between the years of 1981. You can definitely tell the age of this aircraft when you're sitting inside it, but that's no issue to me, and Blue Air are bringing in new aircraft into the fleet as we speak. As we waited, the stairs were removed from the aircraft and we pushed back just five minutes behind schedule. Blue Air are actually one of the smaller competitors on this route, compared to Wizz Air, who actually fly from Luton to Bucharest five times a day on most days. Luton Airport has a single runway operation, so this did mean taxiing back down the runway and turning around at the end in order to take off. No real issue, but just something you don't always see at UK airports anymore. Unfortunately it was a cold February day and it wasn't the best for takeoff views so we passed through the bad weather fairly quickly and climbed up to our cruising altitude. After we reached our cruising altitude I decided to visit the vintage bathroom and give it a look over before settling in for the flight. Blue Air offer a very efficient pre-order meal service where you can order your meals online when purchasing your flight. The airline meals are actually pretty good value and I paid just £4.70 for the breakfast meal on this flight today. My meal today was cheese pancakes with some mushroom and some cheese sauce and a croissant on the side. It all actually tasted pretty good and better with some beer to wash it down with. Hey everyone, uh, I'm here with my friend Gareth. Hi. 
and uh, presently somewhere over Germany, just passing Frankfurt. Uh, we were lucky because the middle seat here was empty, which is, uh, you know, great. Um, so, you know, it's been a, a nice flight so far and a uh, smooth flight. Food was pretty good, actually, uh, surprisingly. And a um, little known trick, how I knew we were over Frankfurt without any TV or internet or IFB. Um, you can use the GPS on your phone and put it against the window and pull up Google Maps and it will show you where you are. For most of the flight it was pretty smooth sailing, but we did experience some pockets of turbulence as we came into Bucharest as you can see here. Nothing too bad but just some bouncing around as we made our way in. <laughs> Taking a look from the back of the aircraft you realise just how short the older generations of Boeing 737s are. And also these light controls were fairly amusing to me. For the price I paid, it had been a very enjoyable flight with Blue Air today, and we touched down 8 minutes ahead of schedule and made our way to the gate and arrived exactly on time. Ladies and gentlemen, we have just landed in Bucharest at Atene, our destination. Please remain seated, taxi by passer until we have reached our final parking position, and the passive time has been switched off. So I would like to thank you again for watching this video, I hope you enjoyed it. Please hit the like button, leave a comment and subscribe to this channel if you enjoy my content and I'll see you again soon for another video.